Hi guys, it's Ben here, how's it going? Today is another day trip. Uh, it's a lovely Friday evening in South London. Time at Dulwich Hamlet against Hampden and Richmond Borough in a pre-season friendly. Uh, Dulwich Hamlet, another Isthmian League side. We went to Enfield the other night from the same division. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this one. It's a bit of a difficult time for Dulwich Hamlet. Uh, they're obviously one of the more covered non-league clubs. I think everyone's pretty much heard of them. Everyone that's in any way uh, involved with non-league knows who they are. Anyone who watches non-league or follows it knows Dulwich Hamlet. But they're going for a tough time at the moment. Um, their own future is in jeopardy because they know they need to upgrade their ground. The council won't allow that. So what I want to do is go and get a story. I want to go down there, speak to some fans, speak to some people that know what's going on, find out the latest, find out what the future really has in store for this club, whether whether the club's future is actually in jeopardy or whether it's just a, you know, a short-term issue that can be resolved. Hopefully it can be resolved. Hopefully the council do do the right thing and allow this club to build a new stadium. And you know, it's such a big part of this community. Everyone knows this club. Um, you know, so let's go down there, enjoy some football. It's only five fans again tonight. Let's go down, enjoy the game. But it's really important that I find out what exactly is going on down here because nobody wants to see non-league clubs dying out. We need to support these teams. Um, Let's see what we can do. So here we are in the ground. You can see the uh, Hampton and Richmond team warming up behind me. Um, I actually got recognised by the guy doing their 50-50 draw. Um, so shout out to him if he watches this. Um, thanks for recognising me. I went on the forum beforehand and said that I'd be coming down to, to do this. So they're very welcoming. So nice chaps, met a few of them down there. Um, unfortunately, no burger van tonight, which is absolutely devastating. Uh, one of the main features of this vlog is, you know, and one of the main things I look forward to of, of, a, of an evening is, is the burger. Um, but yeah, the burger bar shut tonight because it's a small crowd, it's a last minute friendly, so no burgers. So seeing as there's no burger this week, let's just do a beer review, shall we? This is a Hamlet Lager, so a local ale. Um, pulled from the bar, the main bar, it is actually open. The, the one over there is the one that's shut, so no issue. Let's have a look at how this one tastes. It's pretty majestic, pretty majestic stuff. £3.40 as well, can't go wrong, so let's go. Let's give her an 8 out of 10. I think it deserves an 8 out of 10 for that lager. It's obviously a much smaller crowd tonight. Um, pretty quiet even, and really very chilled out atmosphere. Um, the beer is absolutely magnificent. I'm going to have to go back for a second one in a minute. It's uh, really second to none. We're going to take the ultimate risk and go and get another drink during the game. We saw uh, on Tuesday this was a big mistake. I missed a goal, so hopefully this time I don't. But that uh, Hamlet Lager deserves another one, so uh, let's go get another one of those. Thank you. Cheers. So I've just captured what I thought was the opening goal, but it turns out I did miss um, Hannah Richmond's opener when I went for a pint. I heard nothing, there was no announcement, there was no cheers. Obviously there's not many Hampton fans here. Oh, why is... Uh, I'm just going to have to never go get a drink when the, when the game's on ever again. Can't believe it. So I've got Dave here. Dave, what do you make of, what do you make of the game tonight? I think it's quite it's not a uh, bad night, it's uh, quite an exciting night, it's yeah. uh, a last minute hosting a rose game, yeah. so we haven't really got the massive crowd down here no, tonight. A decent little turnout nonetheless. Yeah. Did you used to follow a Premier League club and you've kind of made the move? I or? used to follow Man City before right. I came here. So was, was it was it uh, when City got all their money that you thought, Do you know what, is it for me? It was, it was, it was, it was sort of like at the time when we got all this money, we were buying all these amazing exciting new players, we were like, Oh, this is amazing. Then it sort of went corporate. I've been coming to Hamlet about 10, 15 years. Uh, was a Cardiff City fan, right. and then kind of got more and more fed up as the, as the team grew bigger and bigger. Uh, the, the all seating didn't didn't please me at all. You can't bring booze in. It became less and less fun. And the final straw was when we got taken over by Vincent Tan, 
who decided he liked red better than blue and he kind of didn't like the kind of bluebirdness of the yeah, badge, yeah, yeah. turned it a dragon, and that for me was the final straw. Yeah. We sort of led the way on a few things, like we did the um, first um, game against Stonewall FC, which is uh, the UK's premier gay football team. Yeah. That was sort of groundbreaking down here, mm. and it got, it, got, it got featured in so many lo uh, national papers, and it really brought the focus on the Hamlet and what we're doing down here. A lot of people who are Premiership fans have come here, and so they've met more people here, like in three games, than, than in ten years of yeah. watching their team. So, primarily it's fun. And yeah. the football's better than people think as well. Exactly, it is. It is. It's just it's, as a goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamlet. I think a couple of years ago, The Guardian ran with a piece about Dulwich Hamlet being sort of the most hipster club and everything, and... Do you feel that you get sort of as a sort of stigma that goes with that? Do you think some people sort of feel that oh, I don't want to be anything associated with that? Do you think there is obviously there is a lot of positivity around, but I know, I know some of my mates are like, oh, Dulwich Hamlet, that seems to be a bit all too I political know, for me. Yeah, we we sort of get a bit annoyed about the hipster tag yeah. which the Guardian put upon us. Yeah, uh, it sort of stuck since then, but I think everyone's seen past that hipster exactly. tag. People are, people are seeing the absolutely good we're doing in the community, and um, every 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 featured match we do throughout the season. Um, it brings more people in, more people see what we're doing for the community, um, it gets more people through the gates. You see, what I'd argue, it's not politics, it's community. You know, we support the local community, whether they be gay, whether they be refugees, whatever, that's the difference. It's what football used to be, it represents the community. And it's this kind of a lazy tag, oh, because we happen to give a shit about the community, we yeah. must be hipsters. L if you look around, left -wing I mean, this guy here, he's not a hipster, that's for sure. <laughs> 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 there is a... <laughs> no hipsters. <laughs> but no, it's a lazy tank and it's, it uh, is, it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, I started coming because it was fun. I'm like, I bring my mates down, it was easy to get in, you didn't have to queue, you didn't need tickets, didn't have to go online to get tickets. So it was more fun. And you could have a drink, it was laid back. And you know, I guess for some people the politics is something that's important. You know, you want it to represent the community, not just a load of blokes. And a lot at this level of football, it's mainly middle-aged blokes. Yeah, and obviously on the pitch, three playoff spots in a row, no, no promotion yeah, yeah. yet. What's, what's sort of the ambition for, for this season, do you think? Well, it's kind of tricky. For me, OK, it's kind of weird. I kind of want us to win but not get promoted because okay. we've only got one more league to go. Then after that, you can't drink. The, the, the I've rules, wondered about that. Yeah, the rules. So you go Conference South or whatever it's called now, uh, you can still drink. But then you kind of, because you've got bigger clubs who have come down, you sometimes get segregation. Yeah. And you, you get kind of more stewards that are more in your face. So do you think you'll grow up this season? Do you think promotions? Well, <laughs> I'm not going to say this because it might jinx it. Um, last three seasons, mm, we were sort of caught in the last hurdle. I know, I'm I know. Like thinking, A couple of new signings this summer, though. Aki Pong at the back looks If looks I don't handy. get hopeful all this season and don't do this, <laughs> I think we might go up. Almost missed that call. I've just come out of the toilet, just come around to the other end just to sort of uh, have a little chat with you guys. Um, so yeah, Hamden and Richmond take the lead 2-1. But yeah, great to talk to Mike and Dave. Um, two genuinely really nice guys. They, it really couldn't be more welcoming down here. And it's, it's the sense I get from all non-league clubs, but you know, here in particular, I guess so far, um, I just walked past and I think it was, I think the guy's name's Ron, who just sort of said hello and asked how the vlog was going. It, sort of uh, encouraged me to come back for the Billericay game uh, in a few weeks which you know I definitely want to come back here it's a lovely feel if you love football like I do then I don't see why you wouldn't want to engage with non-league um, it's going to another chance here another chance Mike and Dave obviously big fans of Dulwich Hamlet um, Dave says you know he's involved with the sports trust Mike didn't want to talk about the the council issues on, on record which is completely understandable um, it's still a very grey area. I don't want to put anything at risk, just uh, just for the vlog. But look, from what I can glean, it's looking positive. Um, I do think this club has a secure future, um, and the new stadium um, looks like it, it. It's looking positive, which is exactly what I wanted to hear. I don't know how you can have any sort of disdain towards this football club and this environment. It's it's really magnificent. Um, so yeah, let's watch the rest of this game and then we'll round it up afterwards.
so yeah, full time here, two one Hampton and Richmond. A few Hampton and Richmond fans actually came out to me for a quick chat. Um, so but they didn't want to come on camera because they're camera shy, but yeah, shout out to those guys. I will post this on the forum so you guys can watch this, um, and hopefully I will make it down there quite soon. But yeah, decent game tonight. Um, not a thriller, but as as the Hampton and Richmond fans just said, don't don't treat this as what non leagues normally like. Obviously, if it was a league game, the, all the stands would be full, they'd be chanting and all sorts. But uh, no, a good night. So it is now pissing down with rain, but I'm so committed to the re food review course that I've taken a detour. I've gone down to Camberwell Grilled Chicken. I need to get the food review in. I can't do a day trip without getting a food review in. So we've gone for the fried chicken and chips. Yes, I've had a few. I've had a few chips uh, whilst I was walking back to the train station, but need to get this taste test done. So fried chicken. This is what we're looking at. Ben might say meat chicken connoisseur. Hmm. You know what? Not the worst chicken I've ever had. Plenty of flavour, quite spicy, which is exactly what I'm after. So, uh, oh, what should I give it? I'm going to give it a seven. I'm going to match the Enfield score. Just, be I mean, a because there was nothing at the ground, which I know can't be helped. It's a last-minute friendly, but I've had to walk about 15 minutes for this, and I got lost. So, what can you do? But the chips are good, um, not too potatoey, which is a key uh, criteria, and the chicken is spicy. I'm going to enjoy that. On the tube, embarrassing myself eating in front of all the people on the tube. But got to get back home, got to go back to Stratford. To sum up, good night. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I feel like I've given you some insight into non league fans and how they, uh, why they fall in love with, with this sort of level of football, why they become disenchanted with Premier League football. It's not something I anticipate that's going to happen to me, but I certainly appreciate their story. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel for all this sort of stuff. Follow my other socials too. It's Ben My Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Thanks very much again. See you next time.